Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this photo on Facebook. I blacked out their name just for, um, but on Epilogue's uh, laser fan page. And want to know how to put it on a tumbler. Well, you can't really do two colors on a tumbler. Most of them, uh, even if you use uh, Enduro Mark or if it's uh, powder coated or anodized aluminum, it really can't, I've found that it, you really can't tell the difference between a light gray and a gray. So this is how I would do it. Uh, make an outline of that. And, and um, so what you need to do, I always make a duplicate of the picture, then click on the picture. So when you go to the crop tool, everything else on the page won't go away. And I'm gonna crop out just that part that we need. So now I'm gonna go ahead and delete all that other stuff. And because we're not really caring about colors or whatever, I'm not gonna worry about uh, tracing it or, or bit mapping. I'm just gonna trace it. So I'm gonna click on the item and I'm gonna to go to trace bitmap, outline trace clip art that I use most of the time. It's already done it and hit okay and then move it out and take this. Well, you could keep it for future reference. But it did pretty good. It's got this black box in the photograph like a shadow. But we're gonna grab that, we're gonna go to object, we're gonna go to group, and we're gonna ungroup it. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna go and get rid of the Nike logo. I'm gonna get rid of that black box. And I'm gonna get rid of that interior black part. And that interior black part, probably not even necessary. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to smart fill this. And what we need to do is figure out how big this is. And it's uh, just 1.1 inches. So I'm going to make my nudge factor 1.5. And I'm going to smart fill in that light color. And that's all we really need to do. Now, because of that black box, it changes up a little bit. So we're going to take the shape tool. Let me zoom in here a little bit. And we're gonna to have to retype that word football anyway. So I'm just gonna get rid of those nodes, get rid of these nodes, get rid of that node, and see if we got pretty much of a curve. And we do, then I'm gonna, if you have X7 or above, you can use the smoothing tool and smooth that out. Now I'm not gonna do a lot of detailed work on it. The person that's doing it can take it a little further. But what I'm gonna do is get rid of that word football. This is really pretty easy. Just take the item and left click, right click. Pretty thick line, so we're gonna to go to make it hairline so we can see it better. And then I'm gonna to try to get rid of some of this garbage in the middle using the virtual segment delete key. And that didn't work. So what we can do is take the shape tool and all we need to do is get move these nodes down just move them down. Now I'm gonna, there's several ways you could do it, but I'm gonna grab that node right there and connect it to that line. I don't know what's going on here. Same thing there, kind of there. So now I'm gonna take the virtual segment delete key and swipe through that. And that might not work either because of that part of the football on the bottom of the, so we're gonna take the shape tool and just blend that over to there. Now the virtual segment the leak key should delete it. There's still something leaking somewhere. No, it's the part of the A in ball. Because what you need to do, you need to make a complete uh, circle or a complete finished product. There we go. Now I'm gonna, there's a little bit of leftover right there. And now I'm gonna take the smart fill tool and fill that in. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna create all those uh, nodes in a one solid block now. And you could do a little bit of cleanup here, you know, with the smoothing tool like the U. And see, when I get the bounding box, you know you're on it. You can see the bounding box. I'm just going to, and you could always take the shape tool and just get rid of some of these nodes in the middle. And you kind of make it more even of a swoosh. And that looks pretty good. I'm gonna get rid of that node, maybe move this one over and make that a little bit bigger. 
give us a little bit more room for our word football. Now I'm going to take it all and I'm going to left click, right click in red. Doesn't really matter what color right now. And we're going to type out the word football. All caps. And I'm just going to pick college block. And if you don't have college block, it's on um, uh, DA fonts. Just type it in and grab it. It's a pretty neat font. Then I'm going to make it small enough to fit in this fixture or in this hole. Grab the zoom tool, zoom in a little bit. And I normally don't like stretching fonts, but you could stretch it out a little bit. That looks pretty good. But now we're going to left click, right click, and we're pretty good. So I'm going to, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wordage. I'm going to go up to effects and I'm going to contour. I'm going to contour to the outside 0.02. I'm going to take that B because it's separate in 0.02. <clears throat> now I'm going to grab that B again. I'm going to go to object. You have to grab the whole thing. Go up to object, break contour part. Grab all of it again. Object, break four parts apart. Now I'm going to take my contour and I'm going to nudge it down. Now I'm going to take this interior part and I'm going to smart fill it with black. And then I'm going to have to go in and smart fill the individual lines or individual parts of the football. And now what I can do is I can right click no no outline now what we need to do is make sure this is and i'm working on somebody else's deal it's a cmyk you need to make sure it's rgb and half a point and scale with object that'd be pretty important now all we have to do is take that and put it to the top and you've got your logo done still need some tweaking but it looks pretty close to the original if we look at it side by side, uh, you could tweak it a little bit more, make it a little more smoother, but that would engrave on a, on a cup. It's actually, he's got sharper corners here. So before you would have contoured it, you could have made these, this corner sharper. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.